Welcome to Big Birds Workshop. This project is the construction of some outdoor chairs, uh, or refurbishment of some outdoor chairs and, and construction of a cafe table. Here I'm just breaking down the chairs, they're just a metal strapping construction with uh, timber slats. Had a bit of trouble with one particular nut, there's always one, and uh, hit it with some lubricant, tried to uh, un undo it that way, but uh, wouldn't budge, so grabbed the hacksaw, realised that the hacksaw blade was blunt, I didn't have a spare, resorted to the Dremel, nicked the top off the nut, and voila, it was loose. As you can see, there's a fair bit of oxidised paint on the chair legs, and a little bit of surface rust. I didn't show it on the video, but I put a metal wire brush in the drill piece and cleaned the, the chair legs up. They come up quite well. Uh, structurally, they are quite sound. The slats were made of hardwood. Uh, they were quite weathered, so it was a matter of running them through the planer, really just to take the weathering off and, and, and bring uh, the natural timber colours back through. There's no twisting or, or rot evident, and it was uh, just a matter of really just running them through and cleaning all the edges up. They did have a, a Randover shape on them, uh, so once I finished with the with the planer, it was a matter of then running them through the router bit, uh, a Randover router bit on the router table. Uh, it's a fair bit of repetition. There were 18 slats in all uh, that had to be cleaned up. This Randover piece basically cleaned all the sides with the exception of the ends. There was a fair bit of weathering at the ends. The checking wasn't too bad. The, the timber was still structurally quite sound. So it was uh, onto the crosscut sled. I just set up a stop block so I could take the same amount off each end. That didn't really change the reference points for the bolt holes uh, so that the final assembly would still fall into alignment. But it just cleaned up the ends so that there was a, a nice timber edge on the ends. Once I finished with the crosscut sled, uh, it was a matter of putting some paint onto the, the, the metal of the chair legs. Uh, they were fairly cleaned up, uh, still still quite sound, so I just suspended them and used a high gloss epoxy enamel paint just in a pressure pack, as you can see. Uh, that gave them a, a quite a nice uh, uh, cover and, and a high gloss feel. Uh, the final cafe table will have a liquid glass, high gloss liquid glass finish, so the chair legs being high gloss will actually match that. Being an outdoor piece, uh, it should really pop in a bit of sunlight. The timber slats will cop two coats of uh, polyurethane uh, uh, cover just to protect them from the elements. Uh, the, the seats will be designed to be outside, uh, so it's just to, just to give them a bit of longevity. Just covering any little cracks in the cafe table here. The, the, the cafe table was made from an old hardwood door with some red gum surrounded on it just to give it a bit of a contrast. Any, any little uh, Cracks or, uh, or holes would suck up the or soak down the, the epoxy finish and, and create a sinkhole, so I had to fill them all up. And all I did was just create a little bit of sawdust and rub it into the filler so that it blends with the natural timber surrounds. Uh, a bit of uh, epoxy enamel on the base, and uh, that really finishes part one. Part two will be the, the final construction of the top and, and the finishing of the project, and then uh, final construction. Thanks very much for watching. Welcome to Big Birds Workshop. This project is the construction of some outdoor chairs, uh, or refurbishment of some outdoor chairs and, and construction of a cafe table. Here I'm just breaking down the chairs, they're just a metal strapping construction with uh, timber slats. Had a bit of trouble with one particular nut.